Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and welcome to today's Caffeine for the Soul. And if you'd like to learn more about the the underpinnings of the things we talk about in this podcast every week, check out our free basic course at michaelneal.org forward slash basic course. And today's today's episode comes from a masterclass that I hosted with a, a wonderful teacher named Derek Mason. And there were all sorts of beautiful things that he talked about. If you want to learn more about uh, Derek, you can uh, check him out. He's a, a director of the nonprofit Beyond Recovery, and he's uh, also a board member of the 3PGC, the Three Principles Global Community. But in this particular podcast, he was just sharing his story, and he was, he was sharing about how for much of his life, it, it felt like he was carrying the weight of the world on his shoulders. He, he was carrying the weight of everything that he had done in the past with him everywhere that he went. He was carrying the weight of all the things he hadn't done that he should have done with him. And, and so for him, the, the, the past was not always, it, it wasn't just that it was always present, it was always on his mind, but it weighed on him. And sort of the older he got, the heavier life started to feel. It, it, it would almost be as if everything you had ever done and uh, everything you'd ever done wrong in your life was, was marked in red on a, 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 like every exam paper, every mistake you ever made, every essay you wrote that was corrected by a teacher, and they're all laid out, and you've got to carry all the stacks of every test and every essay and all that red ink with you into a new situation. And you can kind of imagine it would get heavy. It would be hard. It would be like, do I really want to take something else on where I'm going to have to carry more, you know, marked up, error-laden, red-inked paper around with me? Do I really want to keep carrying? Do I want to add to the weight of the world? Maybe I'd be better off just avoiding things or just not thinking about them or just drowning them out with distraction, with television, drinking them away, drugging them away, somehow doing anything so that I don't have to think about it anymore. But he said that when he started to see the nature of thought, when he started to see that there isn't really a past, and there isn't really a future. What there is, is now and whatever we happen to be thinking now. And if we're thinking thoughts about things that have already happened, we call that the past. And if we're thinking thoughts about things that might happen, we call that the future. But the past never catches up with us. And the future never shows up. So really, all there is, is now. And he said when he really saw that, when he just got there, there's no past that he has to carry around with him and there's no future he has to worry about. He said it was like the weight of the world came off his shoulder. And all of those papers, this wasn't his metaphor, this was my metaphor for it, but like all those papers he was carrying around, all those old stories, all of that, it wasn't that he let them go, it wasn't that he forgot them. He said it was like they'd all just been loaded onto a USB stick. You know, one of those little things you can stick in the side of a computer, and it just will store all the data so that you don't have to keep carrying it around on your hard drive anymore. And the great thing about a USB stick is it still gives you access to anything you want to remember from the past because there are things that have happened in your past that not only are fun to remember, but things that may well be worth remembering from time to time. But if you're not carrying the past with you as the weight of the world, if you're just carrying your story, your memories on a little USB stick that you can go in your pocket, then you can go anywhere. You can show up to anything. 
clean, clear, still with access to all your memories, but without needing to carry them around with you. Now, uh, on the off chance that I lost you at USB stick, um, another metaphor for this that my, uh, my, my friend and mentor Mavis Karn uses is, is she says she just thinks of her past like a library that she has access to. She doesn't have to lug it around with her, but it's just always available to her. And so, you know, each book on the shelf is another chapter from her life. It's another incident from her life. And if when she's teaching or sharing or being with somebody, it occurs to her that it might be helpful for them to know something from her past, to kind of see that, oh, she's been through things like they've been through. She said, it's just like taking a book off the shelf and I can, I can show them, I can read to them from the book, but then I don't have to leave the book lying around open so that I'm always being reminded of it. I can just put the book back on the shelf and know it'll, it'll be there if and when I want to look at it again. And to me, there's an incredible amount of freedom in realizing you don't have to ignore the past. You don't have to pretend the past never happened. But you don't have to carry it around in your conscious mind. You don't have to let it weigh you down. You can just stick it on a USB stick and know that you've got it when you need it. You can just put those books back up on the shelf and know that if you ever want to go back there, you can just take the book down, look at it, and then when you're done, put it back where you found it. And for me, I find that an incredibly liberating metaphor. And I hope you do too. Have fun, learn heaps, have the exploring, and I'll talk with you soon.